Alrighty. So I've been holding off on this trip because it's supposed to be snowing. It is snowing up there, snowing up there, snowing up there, and the plateau over there is supposed to get, I think they said three feet, 35 mile an hour winds. But like always, right where I'm standing, not a damn thing. So anyhow, um, we are going to go down here, check out this cliff dwelling, and we are going to go down here to one of the bins in the river that every time I float it, I either catch big fish, miss a big fish, or whatever. So anyhow, we're going to go down there. Um, it's only a point three, three tenths of a mile. <clears throat> but I want to know what my total is. I got to come back up here and start onyx. I hate when I do that shit. Generally, when I remember, I am <laughs> like a mile or two into it. All right, I'll catch you in a few. All righty. Oh, hell yeah. All right, you guys have seen me come in from the corner down there. And I've hiked up to that. Oh, about where that white, that white cliff face is. But what I want to do is get right down to that bend. It's really shallow, really fast, but there's a little island, and it is real slow and deep right by the island. I almost took a digger, but right here is a cliff dwelling, so we are going to stop and check that out. I totally overdressed for this. Uh... No, I thought it would be snowy down here. Um, at the house, we got a little bit of snow. Like I said, the mountain's getting pounded. So, it just is what it is. Live, and, live with it, deal with it, suck it up, and give it hell. But, uh, this summer... I want to get my pontoon and I had all new zippers put in it and everything like that but I want to float this river it's a 13 mile stretch and you can literally knock the living shit out of them when you when you float it but right now, right now it's a little frosty. I don't know if that pickup will show up. That white pickup over there, that's the hill I go down. But I've wanted to get over to this corner for a while. We could actually go from the cliff dwelling and fish it down. The only thing I don't like about fishing down is you spook things. I would rather start wherever my my point that I want to go fish. I always start there and then work my way up. But it is pretty cool. Let's see. Holy shit. Huh. I think the rocks fell off.
Huh. Well, that's weird. All right, I'll be back. All righty. We should be getting into the wall where the pictoglyphs are. Little carvings. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Maybe not. Huh. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew they were here somewhere. Bighorn sheep. I don't know what the hell all is here, but bighorn sheep, people. That would be bunny jip. Get out of there. Huh. There used to be a fire ring. Not unless people were coming in and trying to steal shit. People nowadays. The world needs a big flush because people nowadays, they just have absolutely no respect or anything. I'm going to have to see if I can find my old video when they were digging this out because you can kind of see the fire ring, but... There was pottery shards, but it kind of looks like people are dropping down in there and got to have that for me. Don't let nobody else see it. And these are the same ones that think we had to be using electric cars and all of that shit. The blowjob generation. Anyhow, here's some more, some more of the rock art, but yeah, this used to be pretty cool to come out to. Now, I find shit like this pretty much on any of the hikes I go on. Might not be dug out like that, but... Whoopty shit. Uh. Uh, 
it says the same thing it did at the other ones that were destroyed. All right. We are headed over to that corner where those telephone poles go. That's about where I want to get to. So anyhow, I'll pick you up over there. This kind of has me pissed off. I might start fishing or start the fishing video after this. That way it's two separate. But at least, at least these aren't spray painted over. Just all the artifacts are no longer here for everyone to get to see and get an idea of how people lived. Whoa. Huh. I, I don't know if I showed that one or not. Yeah, there's all kinds of... Get out of there, Jip! Out! There's all kinds of rock art. That's pretty cool. But I don't understand where all the pottery and everything else went. Not unless they took it out and put it in a museum somewhere. And if they put it in a museum, then it needs to be in a local museum. Who knows? All right, we're going to... Man, I was all excited. I wanted this one to be all upbeat and positive and then find out. But see, this fence and this um, little platform, viewing platform, that was never there. That was when they were actually digging everything out the last time I was here. If I can find that video, I may go ahead and add it. And if I can't find it, then we're just stuck with me being disappointed because I just don't get people these days. Nobody, nobody cares. All right, we'll pick this up and start fishing later. All righty. We made it. I'll tell you what, bushwhacking through this shit, yeah, that ain't much fun. What I want to do is go back in, bushwhack my way around over to where that yellow grass starts right there. But I want to go back to where I am just below this bend. And then I want to fish my way back up. But, um, what I mean by real shallow fast water, see how you have all the riffles? That's fast water. This is still pretty fast, but, I mean, you can just look at it and tell it's deep. There's one hell of a good drop-off right here. You can see that boil? This is the shit that I, I'll walk five miles to fish. A spot like this over just pulling up and hoping I catch something but anyhow I'm a, I'm gonna uh, work my way back over into that and then we're going to start fishing it out if I could keep the damn fish hound fish hound out of jumping in the damn river that would help but, ever since she was a baby, she just loves this shit. This is what she lives for. Some dogs have a purpose in life, and hers is to fish. Hi, huh, Jippy? Don't tell me no. Is this where you like it? Huh? You love this shit out here, huh? Alright, guys. I'm gonna, uh... I'm gonna work my way back down here, and then I'll pick it up there. When I get in here, I might show you what this shit's like, because I don't think the jungles have much over this, but 
All right, let me grab my fishing rod. I want to get my gloves back on because this shit is absolutely no fun. But uh, I'll, I might pull this out and let you have an idea. Here, here's an idea. This is what I've been bushwhacking through since we got down from the cliff. Ugh. Holy shit, this will let you know if you're old or not. But I got a feeling it will be worth it. Okay, let's let's see what we can do. All right, I'll catch you over there. What, girls? Okay. I'm still alive. That's always a bonus on some of these excursions. Because you just never know. What are you two doing? We're not going that way. Anyhow, this is an overview of what it's like. Now, granted, there's some trails in there. But... Holy shit, the majority, you're, I'm glad the branches are dead, so nothing jumps up, whips a piss out of you or anything like that, but now we get a side hill, try to get over to where those poles are, just below them, and then we can start working our way back up. I'll tell you what, I was probably one of the hardest hundred feet I have gone in a long time. I mean, that was a wee bit of a bastard going through that shit. And this Chico, I don't know if this is a Chico bush or not. In the middle of that, of course it's a desert, so this isn't, yeah it is, I don't know if you guys can see the thorns, that's what you pay attention for, and as soon as you're looking for those, that's when you get whacked in the head by a flyaway branch. Anyhow, um, yeah, that's the orchard where I pick asparagus next to. I'm always on the river side of the fence. I don't, I ain't fucking around on those guys' property. If a person asks, they'd probably let you, but just one of those things. Oh, it's beautiful out here, though. Right over there, there's the cliff dwelling I think when we do this going back I think what we're going to do is hopefully there will be some trails that go right along the river so we can go from little grassy spot to grassy spot I hope anyway but, man, that's why I love it here. There's a pickup coming out. Looks like that white pickup that was going in. Have miles to roam. And if you run into somebody... Odds are it's because they're after the same thing. Get the hell out and away from everybody and just enjoy themselves. But we're parked up on top of that hill. When we go back, we'll have to kind of side hill around that uh, cliff dwelling. And then we'll come up... And then we go up that draw 
in between this bluff and that bluff but that ain't no big deal Whew. I know one thing that shit like to wore me out even the dogs are panting bunnies over there looking at me like what in the hell did you get me into all right let's get over there and hopefully we can bag some fish and then that's fish fry for dinner all right catch you in a little bit all right jippy has something to do bunny bunny are you watching fish gypsy's over there babysitting the fish so now I might be able to actually work this hole. I didn't get down as far as I wanted to. The telephone pole's right through that bush. But uh, what I started doing, I think it was like my third cast. I started casting over into the fast water. And letting it, just kind of jigging it through the through that and that's where I was picked I got one hit and then went back and I caught one so they're in here now it's just a matter of try to get a couple of good ones for dinner oh it's water okay so anyhow I'm gonna fish this corner out and then I think what I'm going to do is work my way up around the bend and where the trail comes in back over to the cliff dwelling, that's where I'm going to come out. But it's that snow's moving down. We might get lucky and get some snow yet. It's been a little bit since I've got a really decent snow video. So anyhow, um, one one on the bag so i'll catch you here in a few all right jippy has something to do bunny bunny are you watching fish gypsy's over there babysitting the fish so now i might be able to actually work this hole i didn't get down as far as i wanted to the telephone pulls right through that bush but uh what i started doing I think it was like my third cast I started casting over into the fast water and letting it just kind of jigging it through the through that and that's where I was picked I got one hit and then went back and I caught one so they're in here now it's just a matter of try to get a couple of good ones for dinner oh it's water okay so anyhow I'm gonna fish this corner out and then I think what I'm going to do is work my way up around the bend and where the trail comes in back over to the cliff dwelling that's where I'm gonna come out but it's that snow's moving down we might get lucky and get some snow yet it's been a little bit since I've got a really decent snow video, so anyhow, um, one, one on the bag, so I'll catch you here in a few. There's the fish hound. Yeah, I don't know if the snow's gonna show up. It's really fine right now. Maybe you'll see some go through. It ain't snowing hard, but... That is exciting as hell to me. Anyhow, Jip, leave the fish alone. They're not for your chewing entertainment. Ah. Oh, goofy ass dog. Not the one I'm after yet, but hey. Jip, I'm going to beat you. Get out of there. All right. Every once in a while, she has to push the limits. Come here. Come here. Where's that? There. 
those cockle burrs suck. So anyhow, I just stopped so I could put my vest on. And it's just going to keep plugging along where I really think the bigger ones will be. I'll explain the way that I fish. And it, it just is a pattern that works for me. I, I like to start out at the bottom of a hole. Or bottom of a run, top of a hole, however you want to call it. But I like to start out in the bottom because the more aggressive fish are going to be up at the head of it. And so I'm after the ones that might hit if it's presented right. And then through the middle, the aggressiveness is where it starts to pick up. And then up at the head, that should be that should be where the most aggressive fish are. But I don't like to waste a lot of time. I'll give it maybe five, six casts if I'm catching fish. I'll try to pull a couple out and see the size. Those 14 inchers, they are down in the bottom. So theoretically, the way it works is where this little channel comes in, that should be the 16, 18s. And then the 23s to 30s should be up at the head. However, down in through here, it really isn't known for real monstrous. I mean, hey, who's, I'm not out for wall hangers, I'm out for dinner. So anyhow, that's just the way I fish. Um, Rapellas are my favorite. I would rather use a Rapella over anything. Um, I would suggest that you learn how to lure fish before you start donating $8 lures. Um, that's just my thought on that. Get Panthers or shit, get the $2 cheapest lures you can get because you can catch a fish, but if you're out two bucks, two bucks beats eight bucks. So anyhow, um, I'm gonna start fishing and we're gonna figure out where, if we wanna go along the bank, fish along the bank, and then come out the trail. It's probably the easiest. And it's the most productive for trying to catch dinner. So anyhow, we will carry on and I'll keep you updated later. I think one of these times when I want to go hiking, I think I want to follow out that draw. I don't think it's too far of a hike, but those rocks, I mean, if you have formations in the rocks already, who knows what's ahead? That could be rather cool. Anyhow, our snow is intermittent. It will start snowing. And then it'll quit. And when I was busting trail through that shit, I uh, broke the cardinal rule. Don't sweat. So, needless to say, right down on the river, um, it is... A little bit frosty. I've never seen a little walkway like this before. It's kind of like walking across a cattle garden. But anyhow, I am going to go ahead and pack it in. I got two fish. That's 
that's a pretty good dinner so anyhow I'll probably film as I go up but I kind of want to want to have some breath ah the desert I love it here I can go up on the mountain hang out down here on the desert and it's just as awesome on either place except for summertime whoo summertime it's a little different you don't dick around down here when it's 110 that's bad juju so anyway I am going to try to dig sticks out of my t-shirt probably have a few that made it to my long johns and I overdressed big time probably gonna take my vest off again but all we do is circle around this and then go up so we are three tenths of a mile from the pickup right here all right later